We need to remove another pass in here, but it was too low when I came around to hit it. That should be better. Dang you. Dang you. Well, we'll try and catch it from the other side. That's the only saw mark on the whole piece is in this middle part here. And we have to get that. There is no, there is no other option. That was kind of a weak pass. Um, to be honest with you guys, I didn't. So now we'll hit this side here. Emphasis on the Time for me to move on here and stop working on this thing for the night. Remove some of that. Got just a little bit, which is a problem. I'm gonna go from the top down now. Start up a little higher. Okay, a lot of that saw mark's gone. This is our last island here. Whoa. It started getting crazy right there. Jesus. Ooh, that's not bueno. Kind of stepped out into that island, so looks like this might be our make it or break it shot here, which is unfortunate that this has come so soon. There was our saw mark right there. No more saw marks. 
and I think I'm going to retire for the night. Um, or we have a few more minutes left on this video, so I'll keep going. <sighs> Got to compensate for that. Gunner, stop! Working on the outside of my leg here. Okay, now I'm going to do some shaping. Um, I don't want to make a base tang out of this, nor do I want to make a sword. What I do want to make out of it is a blade, so a um, symmetrical one. Although it is a really primo shape for a base tang aesthetically, I'm just not that into those right now. So I guess we're going to lose some length on this thing. Probably only be about 12 inches once I'm done with it. So. Oh, Gunner, no. Hey, thanks, Phil. It's coming along. Wow. I'm pretty much.